Okay, are we sideways still? It'll pop up on me in a second, I guess. So I don't have the error message I had before. Welcome to the very exciting thing as we watch Shane play with his phone. It's very exciting. Ooh, it's a thrill. You're, you're normal now. Okay, okay, that's good. That fixed at least. So, Randy and Bob, why well, don't one of you guys try to join, and I'll try to accept, and we will um, see what happens. Because the watch party ended, so i got to start a new watch party. Don't they have to start the watch party? Because they want to join. You, they want to join. You don't, you're not going to join. So one of them needs to start the watch party. Oh, okay. Because I don't see anything on my screen that I can push button wise. I see forward. Well, I, like I said, I can hit my screen. Uh, I don't even know what this one did. Oh, that's, uh, oh yeah. Allow viewers to send requests to be in your broadcast. It does, it says I can add them at any point. Um, I can add them. If they're viewing, I should be able to add them, I think. But right now it's just you and, um, you and Denise though. That beer does look kind of disgusting. Would you like to be in live, Corey, by video? I'm sending you a request just to see if that's how that video works. Yeah, I see a little pop-up for it. Okay. And yeah, it says, it, it asks you, and I'm, it's asking you and I can approve, so I'm going to X you out, though. Yeah, exactly. But if they're viewing, I can actually click add, so under your viewer. So Randy and Bob just need to join the view. That beer looks... Yes, sketch. It, it looks, um... Yeah. That one over there does not look so hazy either. You gotta move your beers this way a little. I do? Yeah, you're, you're like right on the edge of the beer screen. So I'm gonna get some nice view of the beers. There we go. All right, three. Someone else watched. Our, um, our Father's Day presents. Oh. See, if they hit share and start watch party, boom. Which is different from joining the live feed. Okay, because I should be able to add them, though. Like, if they show up, I think I can add them. I just, they'd be on my list here is the problem. And my list only has you and Denise on it. Maybe they can request. Ask them to request. I did. I've seen it, so. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're saying then. That I, I really is that beer supposed to look like that? I don't know, but yeah. that's what it looks like. I'm not a beer connoisseur. <laughs> hey, you know this this might get Hey you got your sheets to score? Uh no, they're on a printer, I gotta grab them. Want me to go grab them? Uh yeah, if you want. I'm still waiting to see if Randy and sure. Bob can get in. Oh yeah, and pens, I guess. Sorry, thank you, Denise. Oh sure. Yeah, as far as I can tell, they should they should be, I should be able to add them. But right now, when I click on the little thing, I said little things add. Only you and Denise are showing up as options right now. Um, there's a little button here. Hold on. Oh, I can invite friends. Let's try this. Invite Bob. But I don't think that invites them to the live feed. It was under the thing. I don't know. Whatever. It's just a watch. Well, if they're in the watch, then I can get there. I think. Yes, this beer here. Okay, I so get the single large rating for appearance and color you've ever done. That is a. It, it is it, not it, a pleasing I'm, looking beer. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure we. Uh, wow. These beers are fresh too. Yes, super fresh. Like if that were more of like a like a yellow, it's okay. But it kind of looks brown. It looks kind of like old orange juice. Thank you, Denise. Isn't it thrilling watching us try to figure out this technology? That's what happens when you put an IT guy and a lawyer in a room together. That's pretty much it, yep. Things are going south in my house. Uh oh. Whose house? Whose house? Bob. Oh, what happened? The boys are having issues. Oh. Looks like Aaron might actually be sick. Oh, that's a bummer. It is a bummer. Well, four fucking six pints, you won't give a shit. That's exactly right, Bob. You finish those beers off and you'll feel a lot better about Six pints in, you won't even care. <laughs> What's up with Randy? Is Randy uh, not quite there? 
Otherwise, they don't see it. I mean, we could probably start doing it, but I feel weird if we don't give them at least another five minutes or so. Okay, we're going to make sure we give everyone at least another five or so Randy minutes. Randy is in. In what? I can see him watching us. I don't, I don't see an option to add him, though. A heat, but he has, to, he has to click the video. But I can literally see Denise Michelle Nelson. I can actually click add on her, oddly enough, when really? she hasn't done it. But, yeah, I think that she's probably because she has video on or something. Oh, he says I'm here. Okay. Is there anywhere, how can he ask, request to join? Is that a thing? There, should, there was for me. Yeah, it says, my little thing says, allow viewers to send a request to join your broadcast. You can add them at any point. That's, so, yeah, so Randy, try to click the video and hit up. There should be a button that says, ask to join. Up at the top, there's a, a way to join. I forget how. Oh, it says he can't join. He can't join? It says that? It says. Oh. Is he on his phone? Does he have video? Yeah. Why so, can't he join? I can literally add Denise. It's weird. Well, shit. Uh, we could try Instagram if you want to do it on video then. Randy well, has Instagram for sure. Randy, if you want to join the video, we can switch to Instagram. We'll leave it to you. Well, we don't have Bob in either, so we can probably all get on the Instagram one. That's true. And we'll probably get less viewers, but we don't really care that much. Less than four. Yeah, so I say we don't care that much. I think I'm one of them. <laughs> you are one of them. Oh, Limber Gar, hi, Lim. Yeah, see, yours can't. says add. Yours literally says add. And now it doesn't say it. Now your ad went away for you. It's because if you click it, I was just testing it. So if I'm in the video, then it's saying add. Yeah. If I'm just sitting on the screen like this, it's not saying add. Okay, okay. So, so you have to click into the so video. So try that, Randy. Try making so the video is full screened on you, and then maybe you'll show up on my thing and I can click add for you. Does that make sense? Because it's definitely, it, it looks like it should exist. I don't know. I'll stop playing with my phone. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, I mean, I guess we can just do it via text or Randy and Bob. Let's test. Let's just taste together and Randy and Bob. Um, yeah, just Randy, send Randy and Bob, you can just write your Send comments over your in. comments and your thoughts to Shane and I, and we will... Um, oh, hi, Sierra. Uh, Shane and I will be happy to report them and um, let you guys know what's up. I'm sorry we can't seem to and get you guys in. something out before the July. Um, yeah, maybe we'll try Instagram or... Um, Zoom or something. Some story, other thing. Um, if you find a way to click, um, to click out, um, do it. Um, so I guess the first question is, um, Randy and Bob, are you guys ready? Do you guys have your beers? So, um, let Shane know if you guys have your beers. He's watching the chats Randy and stuff. Sent a photo of him. Oh yeah, he's trying to show me the screen. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, so Randy, do you have your beer? Ready to go? Put He's him on not phone. not ready to go. I'm, I just solved the problem. That's true. Oh. Wait a minute. You can mobile. He'll get, we'll get audio Wait if you just second. call him. Hold on a second. Yeah. I'm going to... Ta -da. How weird. The years was showing up and like Shane was able to add but Randy can't add. I, I got nothing, man. Facebook is a fucking enigma. Randy. I'm trying to turn you up to see if we can at least get you on audio. Can you hear me? I can't hear him. Why is my audio so bad? Are you on Bluetooth? Are you Bluetooth somewhere? No. Nope. Oops. Okay. Yeah, for whatever reason, I can't hear you, Randy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Sam is technical difficulties today. There we go. Right here, right here. Randy. Randy, what's up? What's up? Can you hear me? Yep, yep. For whatever reason, my phone was being all messy. Yeah, sorry guys. I thought you could just join a live. I I got Shane in earlier, and I fucking I don't I have no idea what's going on with this shit like, at all. It's all very confusing at this point. I can't hear You got your beers? Uh, we're just the last one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. You're gonna love the look on you're one of these. You're gonna love the look at this one right here, number four. This is the. Oh, sorry. And Bob's got his beers. Hey, uh, let's see if I can get Bob in on the audio, too. Yeah, I was like, I can't audio Bob because mine's leaving me after the live. <laughs> Do you want me to put it on Instagram okay. Live or something? On my phone? Adding Bob. No, I'm just going to add Bob to the chat, I guess. Oh, okay. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a test run before we do the 4th of July. Yep. Just One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And four should look like... Four looks like... Uh, 
Something you would never want to drink. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it shit. Like the, the there we go. It does kind of, doesn't it? There's Bob Anderson. Well, I was thinking, it kind of looks like Pat OJ, man. Cheers, boys. Bob, Bob, Cheers, you guys. Got, you got your beers? I got beers. Oh, she actually covered them all up and stuff. Oh, wow. It's going to be hard to rate appearance if they're covered, though. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. Thank you. Well, yeah, appearance I mean, is easier if it's a clear glass. That's all. Oh, he's... Oh, she's even pouring it for you, Bob. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like we poured ours. That's true. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. <laughs> okay, starting with number one. Well, let's let Bob. Let's let Bob get all his beer. Let's let oh, okay. Bob get his uh, beers and uh, and, and be as weak. He can give us his initial impressions on number four. Yes, as we well. all. We're all commenting on number four. It does. It, it, it looks put? like grapefruit juice. What are you gonna put? What are you gonna yeah. to say? It's a blind drink case. Not fish. No, I mean like what do I? Which one of them? Share with if you share if you write a post that goes to your feet. Right share with post. friends. It's a okay. Message. Yeah, I wanted me to pick people, so that was confusing. Okay, so so we're about to get rolling here. Everyone who's finally joined us, so um, we sort of a new one. So here's a quick recap. Uh, what happened is that yesterday, Shane, Amber, and I went to Sacramento um, because we wanted to drink and we wanted to go to breweries and hang out inside. Uh, so throughout that day, we picked up some beers. Uh, we try to pick up only hazies slash northeastern slash New Englands. Yep. Um, depending on what you want to call them. Uh, as you can see from the beers in front of me, some are more hazy than others. Um, I do know that we picked up six beers from six different breweries. Yes. Those breweries are in order New Glory, uh, Red Bus, Fort Rock, Thin Line, Device. Hmm, there's one more. What was the other one? Device, Wasn't it the last one that stopped that? No, uh, that was Device. Device and New Glory were the last one. New Glory, Device, Thin Line. New Glory twice? Yeah, we went to New Glory twice because the first, when we were at the first one, they didn't have a really good can Yeah, the can selection was good at the, first, so. at the tap room. So we started at New Glory and then we ended at New Glory. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what the other one is I don't right remember now. what it was either. I could look at a map, but. Uh, so we started at New Glory. From New Glory, we went to Mraz. And then after Mraz, we went to Red Bus. And then after Red Bus, we went to something before. I don't know, you know, seriously, I don't no, like, like, remember. We went, but we walked in. No, that they was, didn't have cans. That was log off. That was right, like log off. They didn't have cans. So I don't know. So I don't know the fucker drinking. The point here is that there are four beers here from the six that we bought, so we don't know which one is which. Bob, can you see your beers now? Yeah. Burning barrel. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Okay, so, so whatever, it doesn't matter. It's fine. So You're normally, gonna... go ahead. We, yeah, we just normally rate color and appearance on, on all of them at the same time and then go through and taste. It's fine. So let's just start with rating. So as you can see on your rating sheet, provided you printed one out, it's um up to 10 on a couple. Did you not print one out? It's okay. It's no worries. I have the names. Fort Rock, Burning right. Barrel. Burning That's Barrel. Right. How do we forget Burning Barrel? Device. Like our favorite one of the day, no less. Yes. <laughs> I have all the receipts on my email. <laughs> I didn't buy it all of them. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, did you pour one? Oh, out? did you pour number four? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. One, can, one whole can top came off. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's probably it's weird. Off. It's probably thin lines. Um, that's weird. I think it's more like a thirty two ounce crowler. I think. I think it might be this one. You got your score sheet, Randy, or some ability to score it? Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to start with the appearance and uh, smell on them also. On appearance, just kind of look. Rate it what you want to rate it. It's all fucking subjective anyway, right? Um, I will tell you that personally, from an appearance perspective, I they're supposed to be hazy. So I'm not a big fan of number one because it's not hazy at all. I agree. It's for what we're um, drinking, it's right. not a great appearance. It's a good-looking beer, yes. but it's not hazy. On the other side of the spectrum, you know, we're four here, which is hazy as fuck, but yeah. sort of looks unappetizing because it's kind of brown. Kind yeah. of brown. It's brown. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, I don't even know. So I'm going to go with like a seven, and then I'm going to go with uh, 
No, these both look basically the same. They're both eights, I this, think. This, this one's a little bit darker. I'm going to go with sevens on these and a six on this one because they're not really very hazy. I got to go with like a four on number. I, I gave this a one. Four, this no, is the bad. most disgusting looking beer it's bad. I've ever, ever seen. What'd you guys rate? Bob, Randy? I'm seven, nine, nine, and six. That's fair. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. Yeah, yeah, one, one to ten, ten on the right It's just, it's only yeah. the, the 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 dirty dishwater looking one should be four. Yeah, and the yeah, clearest right. one should be one. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rating sheets, yeah. paper. Okay, we're good to go. All right, so I'll track. I'll track um, Bob's ratings, and you track um, Randy's. Okay, ratings. so Randy, you did what? He went on Under seven nine nine six. Nine, nine and six. And I'll track Bob's. Oh no, Bob is his own sheet though, anyway. Right? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Now smell. Hold on, Bob got a rate. Oh wait, Bob's got a rate. All right, so next up, we usually do smell, uh, just because we don't want our taste buds corrupted by all of the drinking before we do the smelling. Um, so this one's also super subjective. Um, I have a terrible sense of smell, so it's really subjective for me. It's one through ten, though. One out of ten. Ooh, I do like the smell of this one. It's good, though. It's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I it's like good. how that smells a lot. That's got a good smell. I'm going with it. Nine on that bad boy. Number two's got a little bit of that back end sort of soapy smell, I think. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, it's not the not the citrusy hops. Might go in the New England or something. I'm gonna go with an eight on that one. I'm gonna go with a seven on that one. Numero tres. Number three smell like weed. <laughs> well, well, Mr. Strock, since I do not partake of weed. Bob? <laughs> oh, Randy says it's danky. It is kind of danky, yeah. Oh, with a seven on that one. I don't even know what to expect from smelling yeah, a number I'm four. Really, I'm really afraid of this one right here. I'm, I'm, I can't smell anything. On number four? Yeah. I don't get a lot of smell either. Oh my god, no, seriously. There's no... There's no I get nothing. I no. I get nothing from four. Yeah. I, I get a little so citrus, but not as much as I think one has more. All right. Well, I went. Definitely one. I went eight seven seven four. Yeah, I went. I went nine seven seven four. Randy, what'd you do? Bob's got the most sensitive nose because he's the only one who smelled anything on number four. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So next, right. up, so next up is the drinking part. So you're rating taste, which is actually just the taste at first, the very initial tastes. Um, and then after taste is that taste at the back end of it. And then drinkability is more of an overall, like how well it tastes, how well it smells, how well it looks. How, would you order it in a bar? You know, kind of like that's kind of what we think of drinkability as. And, those are out of 30 for taste, 30 for drinkability, and 20 for aftertaste. So let's do number one. Cheers. Cheers. And it's actually pretty good. Oh, oh my God. It's really light. This is terrible. It's not good. It's like a Budweiser right This is terrible. Not good. No, not. I don't know what these hops are, but not good. Oh. Wow. Yeah, this isn't great at all. And I'm not even sure this is like it. This doesn't taste, it doesn't really that. It, where, where's all the citrus? Where's yeah, kind of like a Modelo. It does kind of remind me of a Modelo. Did you guys actually pour the taco truck? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to give that like a, 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 a 12, 13. Did they can this wrong, 13. man? Because this is not I, a New England. This is not a New England IPA at all. Yeah, first taste, then aftertaste, then overall drinkability. The 
the the taste is terrible. The aftertaste is terrible. It's not good. And the drinkability is just. I mean, it looks great, but. All right, so I went with 13 on taste, six on aftertaste, and 14 on drinkability. No, it goes for 30, 20, 30. So 30 for taste. 30, 20, 30. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I feel like it's the wrong can, man. I, I, I don't disagree. We're going to find out, but I don't disagree. Randy, what do you got for your scores? Have you done it? Yeah. Taste, I got 10. After taste, 12. Drinkability, 15. I, yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. I don't know what hops those are. I don't know what. Nothing, nothing's coming through. Like, it just, it's super light. It's not. I'm getting, I'm getting this, like, this aftertaste of. Almost Belgian y. It does have a little of that Belgian y kick right at the very end. See that. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, boy. Like everything. Like you look at it, the way it looks, smells, tastes, everything. It's basically, okay. you know, a 30 is like. I, I would say, like, anything in the 25 plus, you're like, every time I go somewhere, I'm going to get that beer. Yeah, I think a drinkability is like, how happy would you be if you were at the pub or whatever and you ordered this beer? And this beer is sitting oh, yeah, in front I, of you. I, I can't have to lower my score, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, this beer is sitting in front of you at the pub. Like, how happy are you to get that beer? You score, Bob? Yeah. What do you got? got? Forty-seven. All right. So the first round, uh, first beer. I have a fifty-seven. Bob, I think it's a forty-seven. I'm mathing Bob's. Fifteen, twenty-eight. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Fifty-seven and forty-seven are among the lowest we have literally ever rated a beer. I did forty-eight. On our and show. Randy's got twenty-six. For lack of a better term. Randy's got fifty-three. Yeah. I. I'm seriously. I'm not sure. No. I, I think I, we might have rated the Michelob Ultra higher than a fifty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> It would be good to go back and watch that and see. Did you save those scores? We showed the sheets, but we, we, we read about a lot, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. It looks so good. All right, All right let's move on to beer number two. This one, hopefully, is more juicy. <laughs> Moving on. I oh like how God. this one smelled. Yeah. Now, this is drinkable. There's a... There's a flavor in this that's weird, a, though. I need a chip, just in case my uh, last one's fucking up my towel. Chip me. Sorry. Is there a... Is there, like, a, a hint of heat at the end of this? I'm not going to do peppers, but let me read tape. Maybe not heat, but, like, a... No, I get heat. Like, like just a little bit of, like, a peppery sort of... Last bit aftertaste almost has a pepper sort of vibe to me. Like the very, very last Bob's taste. Getting, Are you getting that, Bob? Yeah. It's not unpleasant, admittedly, but it's I wasn't expecting it. It's, yeah, I, it's just, my problem with this one is it's got a little bit up front, but nothing on the back end at all. Like, again, when you're drinking IPAs, you're supposed to get a pretty good citrusy, bittery aftertaste, and it's just not there. The, the, the aftertaste in this is just that one little heat there. It's, it's like you really it's, you don't get. It's really. Weird. I don't get citrus. I don't get. I don't get pine. I don't get earthiness. I mean, I'm not getting. I don't know what hops they used, but. Hmm. I think the taste is fine on this. I, it's definitely better than the last. Yeah, okay, it's definitely better than the last one. I'm gonna go with like a seven, uh, seventeen on taste. I'm gonna go with a twenty-one. I actually think the aftertaste is super nice on this. I don't like the aftertaste. The, the heat flavor that I'm getting is, is very very interesting. <laughs> I'll go with like a 10 on aftertaste. That's what I really would not want. And drinkability, so yeah, I would, I would give it like an 18 on on overall drinkability. All right, Randy, what are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, it was better than the first one. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I like it, but I think it's a eighteen uh, for taste. Aftertaste, uh, it was okay. I, I gave it a 14, and uh, drinkability, 17. Bob, how'd you do? What'd you think? So, I gave it 18, and, and then it's 10, but the aftertaste is not good, it's not bad, it's just kind of not there at all. And then a 14 on the drinkability. It's
it's definitely better than the first beer. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But it's yeah. it's not it's, it's not honestly after our first two beers, I'm super disappointed at this point because yesterday's beer tasting yep. really actually went to the breweries. Like we were pretty happy with basically every yeah. brewery we picked up cans at. Several of these. Wait a minute. Did you didn't have any of these yesterday? We had. We had one. Or we two had Citra made. Dream. If Citra Dream is on here from New Glory. Yeah. Um, that one we've had before for sure. But yeah, most of the too, yeah. most of them we haven't we didn't have yesterday. Okay. I want to say we had Death by Dry Hop, but I'm not. I don't think we did actually have Death by Look Dry Hop. Look at this number. Yeah. Careful when you go to eat the fun. Here I guess. Yeah. All right. Well. So don't know if you guys can see this. This is these are full of some sort of jalapeno cream cheese but mixture. We've got pretzel dogs and stuffed pretzel rolls. Nice. Yeah. Wow. With okay. beer cheese nice. and mustard. So yeah, I don't know. So we, I, I don't think we had any of these actually I yesterday. So. I, I guarantee you, I never saw four before. <laughs> no, they don't. No, you know, we did have one. We had, we had the one from Burning Bear. I have some in there still. Which was Death by Dry Hop. I ordered that, right? Because you got the other hazy. Thank yeah. you. And I, yeah, got I got the other. Hazy. I got Death by Dry Hop, and Amber got all the sours, which were definitely the best. Of them. So no, these are all basically new ones. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Let's move to three. Oh, thank you, Amber. This looks really, really good. That looks insane. Good. Without it being a put in this, that that's what's in the package. If you smell this, it smells like straight mango. Oh, you can't too. Like not dressed or something. Oh wait, I wanna I wanna eat a chip. Eat a chip. Before you want a chip. This is good. No, this is kind of what a hazy should taste like. It's very hot. What? Here. Yeah, grapefruit for sure. Yeah. This is oh, a pretty, man, the initial taste is already, oh yeah, that's way better than anything we've had so this far. It's a pretty good representation, I think, kind of a standard. I love the, the grapefruit flavor grapefruit. in there. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll drink this. Yummy. This is crushable. And nice the wives are over here just smirking because they know what we're drinking. I don't actually. She oh, okay. did not. I, only I know. So, I know. Because you know, <laughs> I was like, what is this? Color? It's like we've done this before where we're like, oh man, I usually love that beer. And then we're like, oh my god, this tastes like shit. And then you're like, wait, what? I know. Okay, anyway, we go with I'm going with like a 24 on the taste. I really, really, really like this one. I have hot dogs too if you want a hot dog. For me. An aftertaste, I'm going to go with like 18. Uh, drinkability, I'm going to go with a 25. Oh my god, I have the exact same as Randy and Shane on this. <laughs> 24, 18, 25. Randy, what you got? I got 23, 18, 23. What did you think of the beer? Yeah, what are your thoughts, Randy? It's definitely the best of the three. Uh, I, you know, I always look for the, you know, the citrus notes and stuff in the hazy. And uh, I only like, like the orange and stuff I use for them, but I wasn't using a great group, but I liked it. Yeah, that's really, that's pretty crushable. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Bob, what do you think? I love it. Uh, 22, 15, 22. It's pretty good. I agree on the grapefruit. Yeah, this one's drinkable. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would order a second one of these if I'm at the bar. Yeah, this is totally good. Yeah, it's really good. I wouldn't order a second of the first two at all. All right, are you guys ready to try this? I, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Cheers. I'm not sure you can be ready. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I definitely want a chip for this. It smells good. Did you smell it already? I thought it we thought it smelled like nothing. Yeah, we can't smell much of anything. Oh, I totally could smell it. Everybody got their palate cleanse? No. We're going to drink this. I'm pretty sure is yesterday's orange juice. Uh, it looks more like it looks juice. more like um, grapefruit juice gone bad yeah. than orange juice. Yeah, yep. Yeah. There you go. Bob's got it right. All right, here we go. Flat. Oh my god! It's got a little flavor to it, but not a whole lot. Certainly not as much as you would think for all that color. It's like better than one and two. You're actually not laughing. It is I think actually. It's the thin line. I think it's probably the thin line. It's not the thin line. Well, it's, it's supposed to be a hazy. I just don't get why it's so brown. 
like the actual milkiness of it is fairly standard for your New England IPA. But the color, this brownness thing. Yeah, the color's off. It should be like a vibrant sort of an orange. It should be like orangey, this, this yellow. This cannot be Citra Dream. Yeah. Because <laughs> we are calling you glory. <laughs> this is Citra I also Dream. agree <laughs> with, with you, Randy. It should have more flavor. New England IPA is usually just gigantic flavor, big yeah, milkiness like, and creaminess to it from all the extra oats and stuff that yeah. they put in it. And even the look of it, it's like, you know, this is going to be some kind of bomb here. Like, I agree. It should have a whole lot more flavor than it does, considering what it looks like. But, uh, but it's also, you're right. It takes a, it tastes a hell of a lot better than it looks, that's for sure. It's definitely better than it looks. Yeah. Which is never something, I mean, I guess, maybe I, not something you don't want to say. But. All right, so I'm going to go 22 on taste, 16 on taste. I'm going to go on 20 for drinkability, just because I don't really want to order this in a bar. Because a pint of this is going to look so weird to me. Yeah, yeah, the, I'm gonna. I actually will and, and go that, way that's low. That's really affecting my view of the drinkability. Like, while if it were like in an opaque glass, maybe like I would rate it higher. Right. If you had it in a stein it's, and couldn't see what it looked like, I think it's clearly better than beers one and two, but clearly worse than beer three. I agree with all of that. Randy, what do you think? I got 21 for taste. After D17, drinkability 20. What did you think of the beer? I think that's fair. No, but I think that's part of. It was good. I mean, it was good. It was perfect. It wasn't like the first two. I mean, I will happily drink this, but. I wouldn't want to see it in a clear glass, though. I would not. And I can't even imagine how much darker this would look in an actual pint glass, like a full pint of this. How brown would that look? Right. Right? Because you're getting a lot more light to it. Yeah, the color's weirdly milky. I don't know what any, I'm pretty sure none of the. I'm pretty sure that none of these are Citra Dream. I'm pretty sure. And I don't think they're. I think they're not Death by Dry Hop either. Frankly, I think it's the. I think it's the non Dirty Girl and the non New Glory. That's just my guess. Just because I recall them actually, none of them were quite there. The only one that might be the Burning Barrel is three, but I'm not sure. So, Bob, what do you got? What do you think? Uh, I got. I got twenty. Four teams and twenty. <laughs> It is kind of boring. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, we it, if I saw something this cloudy in a glass coming to my coming by me, I'd expect it just to aromas yeah, and maybe, flavor everywhere. Maybe it would have fared better if you were using it for like life stuff. Maybe you know what? You are hundred percent correct. I think this rates a lot higher. It is it is it is I rated it not the second best beer, but that's because I hate the color so much I, I gave it a one. We we did blind but we overall did, flavor. It's better. We did a blindfold beer chasing a couple weeks ago. It's it is weird. It is weird. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we did, and that was the one where they slipped in the Michelob Ultra. Oh. So, but yeah. yeah, it's 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 definitely an experience. Once this is all you know more relaxed, maybe we can all get together and do a, a true blind one. All right, we're ready for cans. Okay. We're ready for the cans. Okay, so here's a quick review on my scoring going on here. Um, my ratings had. Beer number three being the best, followed by beer number two, mm -hmm. then beer number four, mm -hmm. then beer number one. Um, Bob, Bob's rating, um, so you guys can hear it, I have him on my score as well. Bob's actually goes beer number three, then beer number four, then beer number two, then beer number one. Yep. Oh, one of the missed are number one. It's... It can't be number four. Is it really? <laughs> Which way does it go? One, two, three. Four. Holy shit. Can they see it? Okay, so beer number one. The Vice Brewing Company, what the haze? That was not uh, as and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask that question. What the haze? Because there was no haze. None. Zero. That's beer number one. Beer number two. From Thin Line Brewing. Havoc, I think. The pounder. No, I think it's called Hazy Havoc or something. It's, it's a frolic. It's a oh, here we go. It's called Havoc Hazy IPA. I think that's reasonable. Okay, but, but listen to this. A Hazy IPA. Randy, how many IBUs would you expect in a Hazy IPA? Yeah, the IBU count's crazy low on it, right? Like crazy low. I don't know. We're, uh, we're talking about like 85, 
How about 19? What? 19. Not sure how 19 is even an IPA. You get lagers with that many. But there you are. That was two. That was beer number two. Beer number three. Yeah, the IBUs were 19. That's insane. It's international bitterness Interna units? Or? International bitterness units, but it's oh, it's okay. it should be way, way, way higher. Your, your typical IPAs, even your single IPAs, are going to be in the 40, 50, 60 range. So, beer number three, Hazy Hop Goblin from Fort Rock. By the way, great facility. Like I, am, I am not surprised that we really liked it. The brown was great. Yeah, the beer we had there was pretty good. That was probably the second best place we went to. Yeah, the triple was good too. Yeah, but the work the next the next was the best place we went to. Yeah, the best place we went to was Burning Barrel, and this one is called Death by Dry Hop, and it calls itself a, a Dry Hop Double Dry Hop IPA. I swear I had a pint of that history though. It's only six point seven percent, so it's not a double. Oh. And the hops are, I don't even understand this. Double dosage of Simcoe, Strata, Azaka, and Meridian hops. Notes of fresh squeezed orange juice, mango smoothie, citrus pulp, and dank cannabis. Nope. You had to give me that. I, I swear I, to God, I, I, I had that. Did I, did I have that beer yesterday? Is that what I ordered? I don't think you did. I thought it was what I ordered. Says, yeah. It, it is? is? It didn't look like that in my pint glass. It did glass. not look like that in the pint glass. Hold on, maybe it's got maybe it's got a can date on it. Is it super old? No, no, I, it. I mean, it's when a little I old, it. it's not ridiculous old. I poured it, and I was like, what the heck? And I looked at the date. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. So after doing other reviews, after knowing what we got, I'm a little surprised about the device beer. Um, I hope that is not a, I hope that's not um, telling for the rest of their beer, because we literally walked out there with a case of beer. Yeah, we bought a lot of their beer. Um, a lot of their beer. And this one's just over a week morning. old. This one? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so, I mean, it's, what the fuck? Oh, no, okay. I was like, I was like, what's my issue? Did you guys drink beer when you went out yesterday? What? Did you guys drink these when you went out yesterday? The only one I had yesterday was the Death by Dry Hop, okay. which was number four here. And I swear to God, it did not look like that in my pint glass. No, it did not look that, that in the pint glass. We went to all these breweries. Um, we actually showed up at um, Device after they were closed. So they, like, oh, yeah. Literally, dude was closing up. We were like, we just want to buy some cans, bro. And he was like, I'll sell y'all some cans. Yeah, dude so we bought a case. Cool. Yeah, we bought a case. No. That's how you roll. <laughs> just just a can or two, or twenty-four. Oh, there goes the wife walking by. I just ate one. I ate one of the, the filled ones. It was really good. Um, so the only one we had was a death by dry hop, which is why I'm so surprised that this was it. Because I, I I had it. Yesterday. I, I literally I, would not have. I mean, I'm gonna pour I this. Take, I might have even taken a photo. I might have not this on camera. I, this is like. You should see Either it coming Shane out. And I had it. You should see it coming out. It looks like dishwater. Like when you pour it, it looks like dishwater. I think you had the other one. I thought. Brett um, joined and says, "Where's my beer?" Yeah. We're getting you on July fourth. We're doing San Francisco on July fourth. It turns out San Francisco's decided to reopen a little later. So um, you got two weeks, Brett. All right, COVID. COVID messed you up. COVID did mess you up. How's it feel to you? That's good. <clears throat> It's good. All right. We so, lost Randy. Oh, Randy left. So hopefully you guys nice enjoy the other two beers. Here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the other two beers we also dropped off. And uh, you enjoy the, well, hopefully you finish the rest of these four as opposed to nothing. That's probably better. <laughs> it, it might help. It might help you deal with your day, Bob. Just, you know, finish those yeah. four pints and, you know. Cheers. Happy Father's Day to you, Bob. Happy Father's Day, Randy. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day, everyone. As I mentioned, let us know if you're interested in the July 4th July 4th as well, because we'll probably hit up the city the day before that. And we'll try to get something where we can all be on camera together. We will try to figure that shit out. Either Instagram or something. But either way, right. cheers. Cheers. July 4th is on Saturday. Oh, oh Randy's back. <laughs> Randy's back in his Illini hat. By the way, did Chelsea win today? I didn't see a final score. Oh, no, they did. That's right. They came back. It was a good game. Good game. I like the device one. All right. Later, guys. The, all of the haze or whatever. Or what the haze? Oh, you drink it? Yeah, I think it's good. It was, it was our, for most part, it was all our right. second favorite. So we're going to we're gonna cancel, but we're going to close this one out. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Randy, for participating in the tasting. Uh, someone bit my wife's neck, apparently. It wasn't me, I don't think. No, uh, I scratched. But uh, So we're going to do something new oh, probably wait, for July Happy 4th. Father's Day, Brett. Happy Father's Day, Brett. We love you. We do love and miss you. Bro. You know you want to go on the San Francisco right. trip with us. You let us know. We'll pick you up, bro. That's right. We'll pick you up. 
You too can join us. You can be Shane's date. <laughs> you can be my date because Denise doesn't like to go with us. Well, because we're gone for 12 fucking hours. Was it 12? Yeah, it was. No, it was not It 12. was 10, 10 to 10. 10 hours. 10, 12 hours. Not before 10. Barely. It was, it was pretty close. It was pretty close. Like 10 minutes. It's not 12 hours. All right, we're closing All right. up. Messages Bye, everybody. if you want anything. I don't know how to turn this off. I said Brett.